boys and girls, and welcome to Bible class. Do you guys know what time it is? It's TikTok time. TikTok says the clock. We glad that you are here. TikTok says the clock. God is very near. TikTok. Says the clock, it's time for Bible class. Tick tock. Says the clock to love and learn and love. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Alrighty, I am so sure that I'm not the only one who came to Bible class today. So let's have a look who else is here. Come, let's look. Let's look up there. No. Can you help me, boys and girls? Where? Where? Behind me? Be oh, hi, Mr. Miss. <laughs> Welcome to Bible class. Say hi to Mr. Miss, everybody. <laughs> so glad to have you here today. Mr. Miss, let's have a look who else came to Bible class today. Alrighty, let's have a look. 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 Let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. <gasps> it's you guys! Hi everybody and welcome to Bible class! <laughs> Righty, so today we are going to learn about two kings from the Bible. But before we do that, we have to sing our Bible word song. Do you guys have your Bibles? It's okay if you don't have a Bible. You guys can use your hands and clap as we sing. Are you guys ready to sing? Yay! Okay, let's go. Bible words, Bible words. Thank you, God, for Bible words. It's the truth for all to read. Thank you, God, for Bible words. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Alrighty. So today, we are going to learn about two kings. One that was naughty and did not listen to God. And the other that was very, very good and listened and obeyed God's word, which is the Bible. Yes. Okay. But to help me speak about the king that was very, very naughty, I'm going to call up Taddy. Taddy! Hey guys, it's Siege Taddy here. So today we're going to be speaking about King Saul. And King Saul was a pretty cool king, but he also had his faults. And reason being is because Saul never listened to God. Saul was a chosen king by God to lead the people of Israel. And he even got his own special crown and i think so that's pretty cool and in that he was a very successful king but also he had moments where he was not a great king king saul had a friend and his friend's name was samuel and samuel had the special ability to listen to god and in that he got advice from god which he would give to king saul and when they went into battles samuel would get advice from God to give to King Saul on how to take on the enemies. And unfortunately, King Saul decided that he was going to do his own thing and take on the enemies his own way. And in that, God was not impressed. He told Samuel to tell King Saul that he has not been a great king. He's been extremely naughty and he's just not done what God has asked him to do. And in that, he lost his ability to be king of the Israelites. Thank you so much, Teacher Teddy. That was such a great story. Although King Saul was not a good king because he disobeyed God. That's not good. But now, boys and girls, I'm going to tell you about another king that was very, very good. And his name was King Josiah. Everybody say, King Josiah. Well done, boys and girls. Now, King Josiah was a very good king because 
He did not only listen to what the Bible said, but he did as it said. That's a very, very good king. And as soon as King Josiah became king, the first thing that he did was that he got everyone around to rebuild the temple, which is basically like a church. So everybody rebuilt the church. And as, as they were doing that, they discovered something. They realized that there was a Bible. Yes, they found the Bible. And as soon as they told King Josiah, he realized just how important this book is. And then he got everyone around to come and listen to him as he read the Bible. So he called all the children, all the mummies, all the daddies, the grannies, the grandpas, the aunties also, to come and listen as he read the Bible. How cool is that? And after he did that, Everyone listened to what the Bible said and they did what the Bible said also. That was a very, very good king, won't you say? He is, boys and girls. Now, King Josiah is said in the Bible that he was a very, very good king and he wanted to be close to God. And that's why he honored the Bible. Now, we should all want to be like King Josiah, right? <laughs> yes, boys and girls. We should always want to know what the Bible says. We can ask our mommies and daddies to read the Bible to us and we can listen. But not just that, we can listen and we can also do what the Bible tells us to do. And be like King Josiah who loved the Lord with all his heart with all his mind and with all his strength. <laughs> yes, boys and girls. Boys and girls, I want you to do this and I want you to close your eyes. Okay, let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you so, so much for the Bible. Thank you so much that we can listen to our mommies and daddies as they read it to us. And thank you that we can do as it says, and we can love you with our hearts, our minds, and with all our strength. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. <laughs> well done, boys and girls. I hope you guys listened to everything that was said today. <laughs> yes, let's find out if Mr. Moose listened to everything that was said today. Mr. Moose? Okay, Mr. Moose, can you tell me who the naughty, naughty bad king was? Okay. Uh-huh. Yes, Mr. Moose got it right. Mr. Moose said it was King Saul because he disobeyed God. <laughs> yes. King Saul was a very, very bad king. Okay, Mr. Moose, can you tell us who was a very, very good king that obeyed God's word and got everyone else to listen to God's word, which is the Bible, by the way. <laughs> okay, Mr. Moose got it, okay? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, Mr. Moose said it was King Josiah. <laughs> well done, Mr. Moose. High five. Yay! I hope you boys and girls got those questions right too. Now, I want you guys to tell your mommies and daddies about the two different kings and which one was good and which one was bad. Okay, alrighty. But for today, we're going to say bye, Mr. Moose. Aww, Mr. Moose looks sad. <laughs> okay. But don't worry, Mr. Moose. They're still next week. 
Yay! Okay. Bye for now, boys and girls. See you next time. <laughs> hey there. We hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to like, subscribe and follow us and turn on the post notifications to keep up to date with our latest content. We'd really love to hear from you, so drop a comment in the comment section below. You can even DM us for any prayer requests or visit our website. You can even WhatsApp us on our WhatsApp line. Stay connected.